If you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. A quote by Jim Rohn, and a very, very accurate one indeed. Look at it this way. If you don't make the conscious decision to plan out how your life is going to head, what you're going to do, you're practically fucked. Don't complain in 10 years time if you are not where you wanted to be. If you are somewhere entirely different to what you envisioned. Especially if you never took the time to at least set the framework for your life. If you never took the time to sit down and plan out what you want to do, what your goals are, what you want to achieve, what type of people you want to surround yourself with, what type of activities do you want to do on a daily basis, what value are you going to bring to it. If you never plan these things, you can't complain. You can't say you didn't have time. We all have time. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. Some of us just like spending our time doing bullshit. Some of us like spending our time on Snapchat, Instagram, TV. There's a time and place for those things, but how important is your life to you? If your life is important to you, you'll at least spend some time planning it. Planning what you want to do, what you wish to accomplish. Now, of course, just because you plan something doesn't mean that it's going to happen. But it's a lot more likely to happen if you at least have it down in writing, if you at least have some sort of direction you're headed. Most people don't. Most people trust in the system, they trust in the government, they trust in others. They hand their lives over to others. So that when something traumatic happens, a contingency they didn't plan, the stock market crashes, they get divorced, they put the blame on someone else. They point the finger and say, why didn't you tell me? Well, I'm here to tell you, no one's here to fucking tell you. It's up to you to get yourself ready. It's up to you to become financially savvy, to understand investments, to understand how the market works in order to avoid the next recession. It's up to you to develop your social skills, develop your relationships with women and other people. Understand the dynamics of relationships Understand when problems arise if you want to avoid the next divorce. It's up to you to cultivate your skills in case you get fired from your job. You are going to fall back on something else. Don't be one of these people that blames someone else or that at the end of the day cries because they never put in the work. You don't want to be on your deathbed filled with regrets. You want to be on your deathbed thinking, fuck, I've lived a hell of a life. Do it! Just do it!